Hello, this is Diagross1. Welcome back to Mount Blood Warband. This is the episode where we declare our independence. Do. And. Do. Oh. Snap! Um, so what's happening? You possess lands in your name and are not a subject of another noble. Uh, that makes you a monarch in your own right, with court temporarily located at Tahir. However, the other sovereigns of Calaria will at first consider you a threat, for an upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy is, is called to question. You may find it desirable to, to, at this time to pledge yourself to an existing kingdom if you want to continue as a sovereign monarch. Then, as your first priority, should be to establish independent right to rule. You can establish your right to rule through several means. Marrying into a high-born family. Yeah, done that. Recruiting new lords. Sure. Governing your lands. Yeah. Treating with other kings. Or dispatching your companions on missions. Yeah, done that quite a bit. At any rate, your first step should be to appoint a chief minister from among your companions. To handle affairs of state, different companions have different capabilities. You may appoint new ministers from time to time. You may also change the location of your court by speaking to your minister. Appoint your wife. I could appoint Ruha. That could be good. I could appoint Floris. Floris would be quite good at that, I believe. Because he was, if I remember correctly, a important person. But I'm going to go with my wife. Um, okay, the YouTuber man's, not barony, kingdom, dumb, the YouTuber man's kingdom, sure, that's fine, <laughs> continue, uh, you can now change domestic policy, do you want to change, but yeah, cool. Higher centralization reduces tax and efficiency for king and raises it for the vassal. This will interfere. Okay, so. High. So centralized is good for the king but bad for the vassals. So I'm gonna go for a little centralized. Uh. Aristocross. Oh, God. <laughs> that was. Aristocracy? Uh, Aristocross. Uh, I'm not even trying to pronounce that. I, for whatever reason, I can't pronounce that today. Will improve relations between king and vassals, who will be able to raise bigger armies, but will decrease trade. I'm gonna go for that then. A little bit of that. High serfdom reduces tax for kings and vassals, and vassals can maintain, but troops lose morale. I'm gonna go for a mixture. Uh, a very high quality, because that's what I want. Mercantil uh well not a great quality. There. Uh mercantilism mercantilistic policies cost maximize exports while minimizing imports, increases government regulation of industry. Well then why wouldn't you want that? Maximizes exports while minimizing imports. Uh well just put it in the middle. Maybe slight I don't know. There. Done. Fantastic. Look at that beautiful red stain just <laughs> lightly dusted everywhere. Um, so I imagine for the first couple of Oh, we're not at war with anyone else. It's just going to be um, with the Viegers and their Khajiit. Why the Viegers? Because. Um, Why the Viegers? Why are we at war with the Vagers? Is it just because I've been at, I was at war with the Vagers before? I don't know. So, having a look at this, um, we are the. Oh, we're so close to being the fourth smallest, but we're the third smallest kingdom, which is good. The only people that hate me, well, hate me, is the Khajiit, which is nice. Um, Cool. Uh, no lords, so of my sovereignty, it's no one. It's just me running everything. You know, it isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. Um, let's not worry about the news deck right now. 
let's instead see about, you know, just doing stuff like this. I wonder how much money I'm going to make. Let's check my um, weekly budget. Well, that's not very good. Um, oh yeah, because I can't really make money for something that's not in my town. <laughs> Not in one of my holdings. Um, tributes from my nobles. I don't have any nobles, so kind of sucks. Cool. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna have a look at Helmar. Just, just see what's going on at Helmar. Um, the part I consume. We only got three days left of food. So let's head back up to Riveton and see about doing some stuff. Enemies on the horizon. Oh no. Um. So I think we're going to be fairly well off to do village under attack. I saw you coming and attack me. We were friends. Oh, we weren't friends once. Well, uh, we were on the same side once. I got to speak. Okay. Uh, surrender or die. Defend myself. Oh, I will. Plenty. <laughs> this guy over here. This freaking guy. Defend yourself. Oh, I'm so scared of you. I don't know whatever I'm going to do with myself. Oh no! I'm going to let's kill you. Um, why does my party create much of a dust cloud anymore? It used to do that, and that caused lag. But that was before I got my new graphics card. So why is there less of a dust cloud? Um, oh snap! My horse is almost dead already. <laughs> that is that is not a good thing to see. My horse is on very low health. Um, oh, oh, my horse is about to go. Is it gonna go? Is my horse gonna die? Is it gonna die? Is it gonna... It's not gonna die. Well, how about that? So I think... I think what you can do is you can set your companions to be lords. So I'll probably, right after this, set up Flores as being a lord. I'll, I'll give him a couple of villages and whatnot. Maybe a castle. Yeah, I'll give him a castle. I'll give him, um... Oh, the one that's not drama. Can't remember its name. I'll give him that. And then, see how that works. Yeah, I got a prisoner. Um, don't suppose I can, you know, exchange prisoners for peace. Ooh, another Sherby. Nice. Um, oh god, running low on bread. Oh shit. Cool. Uh, Imperial Hunnic boat. Thick yellow serenade leather arm. Yeah. Just loot all of that. God, I can't believe I came to independent. I mean, independence, man. It's Independence Day. Woo! Independence Day. For the YouTube man. 123 denarius, isn't that? A number. Um, party. Uh, floors, 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 floors. You have a level. Let's let's just level. It. Oh, that's Frontus. Shut up, Frontus. Nobody cares about you. Floors shouldn't be this low. I want floors like in my top couple of people. Um, ooh, upgrade all of them. Yeah. Um, floors. Floris, oddball. Floris, hey, let's move you up. Boop. Cool. Oh, you're not at the top yet. There we go. Duck, hey, um. <laughs> As Marshall, I'm, I'm Marshall, I'm King. Actually, how many can I? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of troops I can have in my party. Whew. Whew. <laughs> That's a big number. That is. Whew. Um I'd like to ask you something. Um would you be interested in holding thief? Um yeah, Keldron. Oh, I also have Nudar and a news deck. A news deck. You can have a news deck. Um I knew that I would be wise to stick around with you. A new stack castle will be a perfect place to coordinate my plan. Take over Cal Radio. Oh. 
I do hope that there are some really large cellars since my doomsday device- What? Takes up a lot of space. I, um, I mean a lot of storage space for my Floris King restaurants. Yes, exactly. That's why I need large cellars. Probably a well-rated dungeon, I think. What? What? Um, what? 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 <laughs> it's, I mean, we knew Flores was from Holland, which is technically an uh, alien world in Calradia, you know, Earth, but Doomsday Device. What? What? Okay. We're gonna pretend like we didn't just see what we just saw. And we're gonna move on. Okay. Okay. Um, oh! Oh! Cool! <laughs> uh, so now we're at peace with everyone except these dicks. Which we can probably just take. Um, thinking about it. Marketplace, goods, need to buy some foods. And some new, uh, recruits. Considering my party can now hold 330 people. Mm hmm. That's a large number, that's a large number, that's a large number, a large number. Um, pick up all the food we can. Cool. Um, head back. Tavern. Um, hey guys, last time you saw me I wasn't a freaking king! Hey, Clutty. Um, I don't really want- Hey, aren't you- I don't know. Sorry, dude. I don't. I thought you were someone else. Someone important. <laughs> okay, people. People. People, get out of the way. Get out. Get out of the way, people. Seriously, this is this is ridiculous. Um, marketplace. I I already got here. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I check my reports now, does it? Am I? Oh God, no. Nope. It's the weekly budget, isn't it? Weekly budget. Am I, I'm making money from my nobles. That's nice. Uh, let's recruit for some people from my eek. Fifteen. Fantastic. So our party is going to be a lot of nords. Um, for what I can tell, the place is hostile towards me. Um, or viegers, even. A lot of viegers. Um, okay, we're going to go to Hain. Cool, cool, cool. Enemies avoid the like, gizm. Gizm? I forgot I had gizm. Um, I don't know where I am right now. There I am. Enemies on the horizon. Oh, they're bandits, aren't they? Hey, bandits, you want to take on a king? Because you'll lose. <laughs> um. Crew, no one. Fantastic. Okay, so here we go then. Tavern. Uh, we might need to pick up some money from um, Ruha, wherever she's, like from the treasury, whatever. Peasant woman, we can upgrade you um, to become, um, what are they called? Black Widows, uh, someone up here, Elaine. Hey, Elaine. Hey, remember you, weren't you the, I don't remember who you were. I'm, I don't want you back. Don't remember who you were, and I don't want you back. That um, that sums up our relationship. Well, let's see about taking Jalbeggy Castle. Enemies on the horizon. Oh no! Three hundred one. Twenty-one. We made a profit. Also, but those those enemies were actually proper enemies. They weren't just bandits. Um, Jalbeggy. Oh my gosh, you got a lot of people in you. We're gonna hold off on attacking you just for now. Ruby was gonna be mine, wasn't it? <laughs> that was the castle I was gonna try and fight for. So Newsdack's gonna stay ours because we declared peace with anyone near it, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna go to Asgad now, recruit some um, Swedian troops. Oh no, apparently we can't. 
Apparently we can't, because apparently it's not being able to do stuff day. What? Um, okay, how much we got in our inventory? 10,000? It's still fine, we're still just doing fine. Um, I-5s, nice. 11. Um, camp followers, nice. Um, anyone up here? No, okay. Cool, how many people are in the garrison of Praven? Because we might need to... Uh, Upgrade that a bit. We'll just um, pick up those, and we'll um, that. No, I, second time I did that. It's managed town. Recruit some troops. One, two, three, four, five. Go back. Leave. Cool. I'm gonna end the episode here. This has been Lara Cross One playing Metal Blade Warband. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.